Because if he like you, you, you won't let nobody mess with you. Yeah. Another time, he used to get in people's cars, and every time he leaned in, leaned back to get his seats in, he would break his seats. So the rest of they wouldn't let Andre ride with him no more. So they told Andre he had to get his own car. Andre would have bought a Lincoln Town car with a sunroof. So he could stick his and head he out got, the he got these, he, he got these goggers, these big goggers and put on his face. And when he drove his car, he stick his head through the roof of the car. So he going down the road one day, him had stolen, and some guy saw it, and he thought it was a mannequin. You know, this car, because Andre had a huge head, so it didn't look like no human head. <laughs> so when the guy got up the side of Andre, he's looking at, looking at his head sticking out the roof of the car. So Andre turned to look at the guy. The guy got scared, let go of the steering wheel, and hit the side of Andre's brand new car. Andre chased him down. The guy locked the door. Andre grabbed the car and flipped the car over, let the guy in it. Wow. Yeah. Another time I was in Norfolk, Virginia, and Black Jack Mulligan, I know Black Jack was one of them, Angela Mosca, I believe, was one of them. So about four big guys, they're going to throw Andre in the water. Andre didn't want to go in the water. So they're going to throw him in the water. Man, shoot. Andre threw, threw them guys around. You know, Black Jack was a big guy. Yeah, and he was known for being really tough, too, apparently, from what I heard. Well, not with Andre, he was. Andre just threw him like he was a, a rag doll. Like a rag doll. And another thing people didn't realize about Andre, too, he's, if he didn't like certain wrestlers, he would check the oil. Really? Now, what that means, what he would do, that he had big fingers, I mean huge fingers. Andre would get you down on your stomach, and he would take his thumb, and as hard as he could, he would hit you in the rectum with it. I couldn't even imagine that, that, how painful that would be. Boy, I, I, I saw him do that to a guy one time. I said, I'm glad he likes me. But I said, I'm so glad he likes me. And I saw Andre in Japan chase Hogan out of the building. Don Morocco was watching the match with Don Morocco, and Morocco said, well, I guess Hogan reign over here in Japan is over. <laughs> he said, he said, oh, he, said Hogan, he said, Hogan is not the man over here in Japan. And Andre chased him out of the building. He sent people back to the building to get a He was scared to come back to the building. Yeah, because didn't he bully uh, Hogan for a while in quite a few of their matches uh, back when Hogan was a heel? No, it was just something about them that they just, it was something, no, I, nobody really know what the true story that happened between them or something, but something, it was something that, 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 that was about Hogan that uh, Andre just didn't like. And I don't know what it was, you know. I, I never tried to get that much into the business because when Andre, I tried to stay out of Andre business, I just hung around him a lot because he liked me, you know. So, like when he was around, I never had to pay for my bill. I come and sit there, boss, you come sit with me. He, I think he liked me because me and him was what we called the oddballs. I was the only black guy. And people used to make fun of me because I was black. And Andre was the only jank. And with me, I always tell Andre I got bigger arms than him. Yeah. I said, Andre, don't you wish your arms were as big as man? He liked that. Right, because you See, pick on the only thing bit. Andre, yeah, well, he didn't like people to talk about his size. He didn't like yeah. that. A lot of people don't, because it makes him feel like the man, odd man out. He wanted to feel like one of the guys, you know? Yeah. So if you made Andre feel like one of the guys, but if you walk up to him, damn, look how big your hands are. Oh, wow, you so big. He would get away from it because now you, you're outcasting him to him. What's the most you he ever witnessed him? Yeah, he always, yeah, he always wanted to be a normal guy. If, if, if you treat him like a normal guy and just, and, and you know, the same thing with the Mitches. They were the same way. I mean, if you started talking about how short they were, they didn't like that. Okay. Right, so it was just the opposite with Andre. You're like a short person. Don't want you telling them every day how, how short they are. They know they're short. Or a fat person, don't want you telling them that they're fat. That's true, They yeah. know they're fat. Yeah. Well, giants are the same way. Because he always, and people always looked at him like he was, a, you know, uh, in a zoo or something. So he always, made people, he always feel like he didn't fit in. So when you made him fit in and just treat him like a normal person, 
he would treat you like gold. He felt like he could hang around you. He just wanted to be. He just wanted to be normal. And I got to ask fact, you before he before he passed away. I remember he was telling all the stolen. The stolen passed now, so there's nobody to back up my word. But because the people that was there, they all gone now. SD is gone. Stolen is gone. I don't know if Rene Goulet is still alive, but he was one of the people who'd be around Andre a lot of at friendship. He was so afraid that when he died, that they didn't want to experiment on his body. So that's why he wanted to be cremated as soon as he died. That was his risk to be cremated. He didn't want to be buried, but he figured they're going to dig him up and, 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 and put him in the laboratory. Wow, that's very interesting. Because Andre was not like Big Show. See, Big Show is like a big man. Yeah. The great Colleen was like a big man. Andre was not like a, no, I'm not trying to bad mouth. No, he was not like a, a man. He has 60 some teeth in his mouth. But if you really look at it, he has very, very small teeth. Yeah, it's almost he like a dinosaur. 60. Yes. Yes. So they say that Andre was that missing link between, you know, being a Neanderthal. Because if you look at his bill, he was built like a giant dwarf. That's true. He had the same build as a midget. He was like a giant dwarf. If you look at the way he's built, he had his long uh, a torso, short leg, short arms, and a big head. If you take a picture of Andre and get a picture of Lord Lillibrook and put them right beside each other, they got the exact same bill. Andre's hand came to his waist. If you look at yourself, the average person's elbow come to their waist. That's true. Just look at pictures of Andre and then think of a dwarf. Yeah. He looked just like little Louie. He looked just like little Louie. Him and Hawk Swallow, got, he got to have the same as he could Hawk Swallow. Now that you mention it, that's a very good point. Yeah, nobody noticed that, but the scientists did. 